So that is my sister Helena. And she's talking on the phone to Kendra. And uh, Helena is gorgeous, has I am at the dead center, the parallelism, and then uh, Kendra. Uh, beautiful name, parallels I am as well. And uh, it's just awesome, you know, Holy Spirit giving you all these religions. So, so quinoa cherry salad is uh, in the house. <laughs> and it's getting into the house, as in the body, the house of God. So, quinoa, quinoa cherry, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Quinoa cherry is literally now in the house. As in, it is in, I am, equals in, it is in the house of God. God lives inside of this house, this body, me, <laughs> this physical body, God lives inside of it. So, quinoa equals Christ, cherry equals Christ, within at the dead center equals I am. You literally, by God Almighty, you got to get this stuff in you. <laughs> like, if you want to be the person you're supposed to be, Christ in you, the hope of glory, you got to get these specific foods, like specifically, like cherry spelled precisely the way that it is and quinoa spelled precisely the way that it is like you got to get these specific foods in you regularly <laughs> like you, you got to be perfect or you got to be accurate about this oh man it's delicious And I tell you, this is a pretty unique blend. Like there's not that many people or many restaurants or many people I know of that talk about eating quinoa and cherries regularly. But this is the glory of God. I'm like, Cher cherries, are not cherries are so special. Like people eat the basic fruits year round, you know, like apples are a staple. Bananas, everyone gets. Oranges, everyone always has. Cherries are something special. Like... They're very royal, okay? Just like dark grapes, they're very royal. And they taste rich. They got the dark red color. And that's why this salad says to me it's royal. It's fit for a king. It really is fit for a king. This is food that's fit for a king. By the way, the famous prophet Daniel, his name has I am at the dead center. Daniel was an example of eating healthy. And uh, so are we. Like... So the word of the Lord came to me when I was measuring this stuff at the Safeway. Say when, say when. That, that's why we say say when, when someone is pouring something out for us or we're serving our, we're pouring something. We say say when, as in when to stop pouring. Well, say when, the W is at dead center, which equals I am. And then it's so gorgeous. You've got three plus ones for say, three plus twos for hen, all divided by three or rainbow them together plus one and a plus two divides by three. So flanking the I am in say when, you get 33, six, 33. Like it doesn't get any more beautiful. And that's what the Holy Ghost said to me when I was pouring the, the, tri, the tricolor organic quinoa into this plastic bag. Say when, just, it's the glory of God, these words. Hallelujah. I feel like a I feel like a genius. I feel like a trillion <laughs> trillion dollars eating this salad. Genius has I am at the dead center. I wouldn't be surprised if kids like brain function went up after, as a result of consuming quinoa cherry salad in the morning before school. Like it's a food revolution. <laughs> like why would you give your chi oh it's terrible what we're giving kids. Like, oh it's disgusting. Cow milk? Like that's that's not natural. Like Give them some quinoa cherry salad and they'll be like superhumans. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. It tastes delicious. I, I can't find enough words to describe how perfect this combination tastes. Quinoa plus cherries. I... It, it is it is royal, it is delicious, it is chuggable, it is fun, it is just right 
obviously the letters just right come to mind. Like it, it's not over, and it's all natural. Like we didn't add any spices or salt or anything to this. And it is delicious. And it's like superhuman food. Oh yeah. I noticed that the letter is gluten free, parallel I am. Because the gluten, it's GMO. It's, it's all, it's not even wheat anymore. The number of chromosomes is like changed by like 20. It's disgusting. It's an opiate on the brain. If, if you don't, don't eat gluten right now because it's poison. It's not real wheat. It's genetically modified and it's actually an opiate on your brain. It makes you sleepy. If you're really sensitive to it, sensitive to it, it makes you feel like falling asleep after you eat a bunch of wheat. The GMO stuff. Don't touch it. Be gluten-free unless you have access to the ancient grains wheat, like the original pre-GMO stuff, like from 40 years ago. But right now, don't don't touch wheat. At least for me, I I'm not touching it. Um. This is the perfect summer food, the perfect fall food. I can imagine eating this stuff in the winter if we had access to, I don't know if we'll get as many cherries up here in the winter, but it just, um, it really is superb. Cherry quinoa salad. It's very rich. It's very royal. Um, like this, this is not cheap, dumb food. Like we're putting in front of people these days. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is disgusting. We live in the in the worst food war in the history of the universe. All the restaurants, fast food, Dairy Queen. It's madness. It's total poison. It's all poison, and everyone's body is looking like trash for it. I'm like fresh quinoa with cherries, like whole cherries. I, I literally. I felt led, you know, by the Lord to just, to literally, I only use my hands. I didn't even use a knife or anything to, to get the food off cherries. You work with your hands, it's more pleasurable. Just get the seeds out, throw it in. Quinoa with cherries. But do the math and then you're really satisfied. Quinoa equals cherry equals Christ equals I am love. And folks, I would not be enjoying this recipe if it wasn't for the math. It was the math on the word quinoa and the word cherry that led me to do this. And now here I am enjoying this perfectly heavenly combination, like a husband and a wife that were meant to get married, like before the foundation of the universe. Husband and wife, Adam and Eve, were meant to get married and be the most perfect combination in my mouth and in the mouths of all humans for all time. That's pretty awesome. I mean, cherries taste good by themselves. And quinoa tastes good by itself. But quinoa cherry is like this golden, beautiful balance. And nutritionally, you get, uh, yeah, well, you can break down all the analysis, schmalysis. And the one, one thing that is worth preaching about the whole, you know, nutrition facts data stuff you know, oh, this has so much of this. This has so much protein. That's remember, those are all lab numbers. Uh, but there's so much more to like eating well. It's like, is it a pleasure <laughs> to you know eat this food? Is it a pleasure to look at it? Is it a pleasure to source it? Is it a pleasure to prepare it? Is it ordained by God? Is it you know natural? Is it <laughs> and and is it you know made for the human body? Like just because. For example, cow milk registers a certain number on the protein lab reading. Does it mean that my human body is made to assimilate that item? No, not really. I'm like, follow what God said about what humans are supposed to eat. And it's just like, and you can feel it inside of you and it shows up in your body like over time. But, um, but it's 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 gotten quite ridiculous because people are doing all these breakdowns and like oh look at look at how much nutrition there is per gram in like watercress it's like there that's what we all need to eat day and night like 
grass. It's got good numbers in the lab. We should all be eating grass. You're just like, uh, no, just because it's got certain numbers in the lab, like so much vitamin C, doesn't mean it's made for the human body. <laughs> it doesn't mean that my human body can absorb all of those numbers properly in the most pleasurable, God-ordained way. So, always, uh, like, Holy Spirit is your perfect guide. He will guide you. And, uh, yeah. Quinoa cherry. Glory to God. Glory equals quinoa equals um, cherry. Mm. Oh, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Okay. I love solving colors on these things, brown, red. Very royal colors. Glory to God. So this is the first time in history that a quinoa cherry salad was consumed by a human while knowing that quinoa equals cherry equals Christ equals I am love to the glory of the great I am. And it was beyond perfect and beyond sublime and beyond delicious and nutritious and feel good in every way. And words cannot describe how perfect this combination is and evermore shall be. <sighs> more. We got more. Um, so amino acid equals triple I am. Now, So, uh, amino acid equals triple I am, equals Jehovah, and then collagen equals Jehovah, triple I am. So, uh, it's important. We get this quinoa in us. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait till everyone gets in on this revelation. Five minutes left on the battery. Um, we got lots of time, so now I got to... Prepare some more cherries, peel off uh, the fruits from them. Or you could just have fun, you know, eating the quinoa and then getting a cherry in your mouth. I think that's just as fine. I might even just do that. But okay. when you have a word from God, you, uh, you take it for all it's worth. <laughs> it's like quinoa, cherry, go for it. Consume at will until you are satisfied. Um, I'm going to plug in this video camera. I, I just love, you know, it just, I just love how much time, like there's, there's plenty of time with God and I'm just going to plug this in and leave the camera rolling, you know, there you go. So yeah, you can play around with this, you know, cherry first. A little quinoa second. But quinoa equals cherry equals mouth. Quinoa equals cherry equals mouth equals Christ. So clearly cherry and quinoa were meant to belong in my mouth. To the glory of Christ. It's his body, so I'm submitting to the spirit. And this is it. Okay, so cherry equals mouth. Yeah. <laughs> cherry equals mouth. I'm getting it. <laughs> cherry equals mouth. Now I'm just checking the flanking letters on... Oh yeah, Cherry has I am God at the dead center. Like, I am God. So 
cherry equals mouth, and then of course quinoa equals the same thing. But then the obvious conclusion is to make a cherry quinoa salad and double your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we're slowly memorizing more foods that have IM at the dead center, like mint. And the there's a very long list, I'm sure, but we're building it. But this is really sublime. These are very good cherries. Very good. From Safeway, no less. So, cherry. It is divine. Like, I'm just feeling the, the combination. Like, this is so good for your body. And it's the perfect texture. Like, it's it's easy to chew, but it's satisfying to chew because quinoa gives you that crunch, but it's not like you're eating peanuts. Like, it's that it's just perfect. It's hard to find words for this combination. Other than perfect. I mean, once you know that the mass is perfect, you might as well say that the food is perfect and that the taste and the combination is perfect. And there's no other words you can ascend to. It really is perfect. You get the fabulous crunch and fiber texture from the quinoa. You get the juicy, squirting, deep wine-like flavor of the cherries. Well, I haven't had a sip of water since I've been eating this meal. I haven't needed. I, a lot of unhealthy foods make you thirsty. Bam! Just like that, you're just like, oh, I need some water. Like, I haven't, I haven't had a drink. I haven't had a sip of anything since I started eating this meal. I'm perfectly content eating my quinoa with cherry. Like, it's like a self-sufficient combo. <laughs> Even the colors of this meal I like. They match the colors of the human mouth, reds and browns and tans. And in my opinion, they're colors of royalty. They certainly match what God ordained in me very nicely, being brown-haired, brown-eyed, quinoa's brown, like this. I love stuff like this, but cherries are very royal. Um, you know, they're on a similar level to uh, dark grapes, which is what you know, all the kings and Caesars of history heralded as being a royal fruit. But I think there's something extra special about cherries because you're kind of forced to slow down and savor them because each individual one of them has a stem and a seed, uh, a pit that must be, you know, pluck, plucked out. And so it, um, it really forces you to slow them down and, and eat them like, like royalty, you know, one at a time as opposed to, you know, other berries you can just kind of like shovel them with your hand. Mm. So other details to point out in cherry and quinoa mathematically is, um, yeah, flanking the two central letters, um, wait for it, oh I can't believe I didn't, uh, quinoa, right, flanking the two central letters, um, in both cases you have two letters that divide by three, a single plus one and a single plus two. Like. Quinoa and cherry are so mathematically identical, it is uh, ridiculous. And that's why we're eating this combination. That's why we're eating this salad. I also take note and marvel that the word salad is a double I am. Because what's the definition of a salad? Oh, it's two or more things. You can't really call it a salad until you have two items. That's just leaves. If you just have a bunch of leaves, that's leaves. 
It becomes a salad when you either add a dressing or something else. Um, and so the word salad is a double I am construct. The ALA at the center is uh, I am minus nine, and then the SD, the bookends, equals I am perfectly. Okay. Um, so a salad is an intimate mixture, and I like the fact that it's symmetrical. It speaks to me that it's like an intimate mixture of two things. Just like husband and wife get married, it's total symmetrical, central alignment, <laughs> um, physically. Quinoa. Quinoa cherry. Very satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it's like the um it's like the drink or beverage you would have been drinking if you were just eating plain quinoa is perfectly provided for by the cherries. The liquid content in the cherry. All right, so some final words to describe the flavor. Royal, definitely. Royal, um, perfect. Perfect is honestly the favorite word. Definitely chuggable. I know for a fact that this is not going to make me heavy. It's not going to make me feel heavy. It's not going to uh, tax my digestive system and make me feel tired. Christ in you, the hope of glory. <laughs> Christ equals cherry equals quinoa. Amazing. I wonder what will happen if I have a quinoa cherry diet <laughs> for the next few days. What kind of superhuman, super-minded feats will I perform? Christ in me, the hope of glory. Tricolor quinoa with fresh cherry. <laughs> I haven't had a sip of water this entire meal. And truth be told, I haven't really craved one. Mm. You know what's a good combination when you just keep feeling like going back and forth between the two? It's like after you've had some quinoa, you just reach for the cherry. <laughs> And then after you've had some cherry, you reach for the quinoa. And you just keep going back and forth, and lo and behold, you're, getting, you're not craving anything other than the two of them. You're just like, that's awesome. <laughs> Fit for a king. All these famous phrases now. Fit for a king parallels I am. Beautiful set of letters, obviously. 36, was 36 Jehovah, 75. A lot of beauty in those. Stunning. So... <clears throat> Amazing. So God keeps taking me higher. Like before, I bought a package of the brown quinoa at Safeway. Like just a package rather than the bulk section. But buying bulk is better. It's, it's what God desires. It puts people in control. And truth be told, it's easier for the, the workers too. Because you just you stock one big giant bin and it's it's maximum honesty too and this is the way most general stores were from the very beginning just 
it was it's totally honest because it weren't it wasn't packaging like you weren't your eyes weren't shielded from the product with all this plastic and distraction do the math on bulk bin like 23 23 and then bin ends at 23 like so it's like I could have bought the quinoa from the shelf the packaged version but first of all it wasn't tricolor which I know though I strongly prefer and I felt the Lord leading me to do so strongly and furthermore it's more pleasurable it's more efficient, it's more honest to use the bulk bins. Like you just, there, there's no package. It's like you see the item in full of what you're getting and here's the official God-ordained name of it, quinoa. Organic tricolor quinoa. There it is on the receipt, okay? Quinoa, tricolor organic. Bin number 30312. <laughs> From the organic bulk section. You see these 23s, okay? But doing the math on all the bin number and stuff, I just. Bin number. That's a great set of letters because both end in, in very famous IMs. In fact, they're the two IMs of what I'm eating IN in quinoa and ER in cherry. Bin. Bang, number, bang, I am. Bulk, I am, I am. Like, can you imagine, like, if, like, all natural whole foods, just plain and simple in bulk bins. And that's what everyone was doing. Like, that's what everyone had the power to choose and everyone was doing. Everyone was doing it. The general stores were this way, you know, a long time ago. People, you go in there, you grab your scoop, and you take your fill. Less packaging, less plastic, less waste, less work for the workers, less... Oh, just... Hmm. Say when. Say when. Puts the I am at the dead center. As a word from the living God. That he spoke to me today while I was at the bulk tower pouring this fine quinoa. I'm excited about how this quinoa cherry is going to make me feel, but how it's going to let me perform and how it's, it's going to, yeah, make me feel in the mind, in the body. There's not a whole ton of foods. Now, every food has its glorious uniqueness in its name, but quinoa cherry. All right. Well, we're getting close, but I, I, I literally, I'm probably just going to keep eating this. There's so many words, dark red, royal red, rich red. For all the billions on planet Earth, it has one name, Cherry. That's the glory of God. Cherry equals Christ. And then fruit equals Jesus. Skin is I am plus 30. We've talked about seeds before, we solved that in pit. Cherry quinoa. Now, if you want to be really interesting, I'm literally staring at the color palette that would have been Jesus on the cross. This is very amazing. Like, literally, the colors of tricolor quinoa with the beige and the, the browns and the tans. 
would have been the exact color palette of Jesus, his body, his hair, his eyes, and the wooden cross. And then, of course, the blood red of the cherry was the blood that um, was pouring down Jesus as the Lamb of God for the sins of the world. So, just keep adding that to, you know, quinoa equals Christ. Cherry equals Christ. And the blood red of Christ. And, um, and these colors, similar to my own body, I got brown hair, brown eyes. With this tricolor quinoa with the beige, the brown, and the dark. It's almost black. I think it's, yeah, it's probably, it's still, it's a very dark, dark, dark brown. Like quinoa is for the glory of Christ, like all things are, but as you stare at this tricolor quinoa, you're like, that's, like artistically speaking, that, that's the color palette of the body of Jesus. Christ himself, when he walked this earth, he had brown hair, he had brown eyes. He would have had reasonably beige and, you know, tan skin because he would have walked outdoors much of the time. And there's tons of sun in Israel. And that would have been the, this here is literally like the color palette of Christ, the perfect man walking the earth. And then, of course, the cherries. Cherry equals mouth, and your mouth is red. And this is holy food. Like These foods have just been jacked to the top of my scale as a result of the math and all the other revelations. And uh, But what's... And quinoa is relatively um, new in popularity on the world stage, which is awesome, because God's always doing new things, and giving new things to mankind, and so quinoa, at least in my life, has only come into my life in recent history. Um, but I've always wanted perfection, and now that I've done the math on these names, and have tasted this and the combination of them for myself, I believe these are perfect foods. Like, perfect. <laughs> like, I can bet my whole life and everything within me on the goodness of eating organic tricolor quinoa equals Christ and ideally organic cherry equals Christ. I could bet everything, every cell in my body that that's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to do it regularly. Long live the king. <laughs> For the glory of Christ. <laughs> Sales of cherries going through the roof after this revelation gets out. Sales of quinoa going through the And they should. They should. Sales of quinoa and cherries should go through the roof. Because people are finally giving their bodies the very best. I mean, the most perfect foods that God has ordained. And, and the most obvious thing to do is make a cherry quinoa salad, which is what we did tonight. If this keeps up, I'm going to finish this entire bag of cherries. It was just over... how much did I get? I got... Uh, almost a kilogram. 0.995 kilograms. What the? <laughs> I don't think they gave me the true advertised price. I bet you I can get this for free. I bet you I can go there tomorrow and buy a whole bunch of cherries. And if this is the wrong price again, I can get them all for free. <laughs> I just I work there, but six. I think I think they actually rung up the wrong price at the till because they're supposed to be three dollars per. Or, I could be wrong. Anyways, oh no, 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 never mind. That is the correct price because this is never mind per pound versus kilogram, right? <laughs> Quinoa cherry. Can you believe the disaster that food is right now? Like, this is probably the best food I've, like, possible, like, of all time. And, like, you go to your cereal aisle, which is what 
people are being told they should feed their children first thing in the morning? And it's like empty trash compared to this. Like, I, like just think about it. Like, I could feed my children quinoa cherry, whole, fresh, full, satisfying, every morning. And they'll be like satisfied, peace-filled, glorious, beautiful, superhumans all day long. Just because we listened to Christ. Quinoa equals Christ. Cherry equals Christ. And we did the math on it. And, and we tried it. And it tasted delicious. And we, were, we felt great all day long. We weren't heavy. And we, we didn't have bowel problems. And we weren't passing. Like, it just worked. It, it, like, it, just, it just worked. Like, Christ in us. The host, hope of glory. And the math was perfect. And we, I, I wouldn't be surprised if people ate this stuff like three times a day. They were like practically <laughs> like superhuman. I tell you, I'm almost, I, I will have consumed, in short order perhaps, one kilogram of cherries. And how much quinoa did I get? 0.6 kilograms of quinoa. Amazing. Amazing. Now lentils equals the father. We know that one. That's one of my favorite. But this is a new favorite here. Um, from my experience, quinoa is um, is easier to digest than lentils. I, I haven't, it's a good sign when you, when you eat a meal, I'm just thinking to myself, I, I haven't craved a glass of water, I haven't craved drinking anything, I'm just getting everything from, and this was the easiest thing in the world, 10 minutes the quinoa with plain water on the stove, cherries plucked straight off the vine, no mess, and it's delicious. And it's mathematically perfect. So, quinoa equals Christ equals glory equals power. Like, you can sell these foods to big men and bodybuilders and workers and, like, construction workers. Quinoa equals power. <laughs> equals Christ. Now, you want to take care of your mind and your brain just as much as your entire body and I believe these are great brain foods as well I'm like but and let's not forget that righteous foods um, another another power that needs to be mentioned is like the power to behave morally like when you eat righteously like it just, your whole body is more at peace, you know, and that helps you make proper moral decisions and have proper moral behavior, you know. So people think, oh, quinoa equals power, cherry equals power. It's like, yeah, you'll have a clear mind and you'll feel properly light and you'll feel holy and you'll feel calm and you'll feel nourished. Uh, but you won't feel agitated or spiked like with sugar like you all of a sudden you're restless and you got to like go and jump off a cliff or something it's like oh it's it's nourishing it's quinoa equals power as in you know and equals cherry like it's nourishing it's going to give you power to behave righteously and do the things that god wants you to do so. There has never been a greater time in history for a food revolution. Never. There has never been a greater period in history for someone to come along and do the whole thing raw, right, and organic and 
show everyone else to be completely unhealthy. And that's what actually is happening. There's people like Tim Van Orden running raw who are making everyone else look like fools for plain and simple because of the garbage that everyone is eating and trying to fuel their bodies with. And it's a subhuman disaster. It's not eating what we should eat. It's not that these things, yeah, enough said. There's just, um, we, we are living in a food disaster. We know it's based largely, almost completely on greed and profit. And um, but I can't wait for a big revolution where people have the power and the wisdom and the, and the voice of God and most of all the Holy Ghost controlling them to, um, to simply say no to all this junk. Can you watch, Harry? What's interesting to me is that when you put two, uh, two I am words together, okay, like quinoa cherry, that's a double I am combo. That's just like the word salad. The word salad is a double I am combo. ALA, that's one of them, and then SD is the other. Um, so, that's pretty neat, like quinoa, cherry, salad. Hmm. Mixture, that's a beautiful word too. Mixture is a beautiful word, it puts I am at the dead center of that T, the mixture. Fun, you can solve other words, combination, all that. There you go. Quinoa cherry salad. Wow. I'm probably gonna need some more of this. Now at this point I could probably take on some water, pure and simple. But um, and the nice thing about quinoa, as I look at it over here again, is that it absorbs a lot of water. And of course cherries are loaded with water. So I think that's, you know, a secret blessing of this quinoa cherry uh, meal is that both foods are loaded with water if you cook the quinoa. Mm. Quinoa cherry. I know for a fact, like being totally honest, I, I feel deliciously nourished. I feel calm and happy as can be. I feel excited. I feel stoked. I feel absolutely awesome having eaten quinoa cherry salad. There you go. So glory to God, we solved that tricolor quinoa. Big, big revelation. So I prophesy that tricolor quinoa is going to go through the roof um, in human consumption in the future as well as cherries and that more and more people are going to understand these revelations in Gematria that cherry equals Christ, quinoa equals Christ with I am at the dead center and that millions and millions of people um, until Jesus Christ returns are going to partake of this blessing that sales of tricolor quinoa are going to go through the roof sales of organic Whole cherries are going to go through the roof and people are going to be eating way healthier and are going to be way happier and way better looking uh, in future generations to come, God willing. Okay. Christ in you, the hope of glory, cherry quinoa. Cool. <laughs> I can't stop. This is holy food. And it is. Cherries are truly something special. They are truly unique foods. Like, 
They're not a berry. <laughs> They're not a larger fruit. They're a cherry. <laughs> it's like... And I think it's the royal red color that, that, that says something very special. Total royalty. And also it's, called, it's also the color of blood, dark red. The life is in the blood, the blood of Christ. Cherries really are an item for royalty. I mean, just look at the way you eat them. Like you got this, you know, they're a great conversation food and they're very, they're just like, you know, you just kind of pop it off. <laughs> like it just, it just reeks of royalty, you know? <laughs> And every human being is made in the image of God is royalty, you know. Confess the Lordship of Jesus Christ, you are God's child, okay? You are a prince, princess, and um, you are entitled to eat, <clears throat> eat the best for the body of God. Cherry. Oh yeah, I had another word come to me. Golden Retriever. Oh, and then crazy stuff. I might take the video camera out tomorrow. Uh, God had ordained a sign. Uh, budgie. The scientific name for budgie is budger... Um, budger Rickar? It's quadruple I am, perfectly. But God ordained someone to lose a bird named Marina, which equals the I am, and they put a lost poster sign on the pathway that God knows I always walk up and down into, into and out of town. And it's just a sign from God. Marina equals the I am. And it was a budgie, which, and they even had the scientific name for budgie in there, which is quadruple I am, budget Rickar or something like that. You can find all 423s. B-U, uh, E-R was the central one. G-I-G -G was the next one. And then R-A-D was the last one. So there, the 423s. Just sovereignty of God to, to encourage me. And they make me laugh everywhere I go that this I am revelation is just through the roof. But yeah, there was a golden retriever out in the park. And obviously the word of the Lord came to me, golden retriever. Retriever is loaded. R-E-I-M, R-E-I-M, and then another R-E-I-M, and then the rest equals great. Well, we know that great I am equals Jesus, and it's just ridiculous. To us, <laughs> to God, to the future. <laughs> Charity equals Christ. Um, I mean, there's even women <laughs> that have the name Cherry. <laughs> and they do quite well <laughs> on planet Earth. Now they need to be told that Cherry equals Christ. <laughs> now, if you named a son Quinoa, that would be a bit of a stretch. I would recommend going there. <laughs> you could be more creative than that. <laughs> oh, boy. We have a daughter named Cherry and a son named Quinoa. Ooh, I don't know if I'd go there. Um, you can be more creative than that. <laughs> I'm sure God would, you know, you listen to God, he'll help you, but I'm sure he would choose something else than that. Quinoa belongs to the food right now. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, one of my middle names is Reinhard, which equals Christ. Um, and Reinhard has the triple I am plus the eight to equal Christ. Man, I cannot stop eating quinoa cherry. This is the sovereignty of God. This is the glory of God. Quinoa cherry is in the house. <clears throat> By the way, this is a Sony video camera. And uh, Sony has I am at the front in the center. Another I am like that. It's all those offsets. God uses all sorts of things. 
for his glory. But here it is. So, <clears throat> it must be tricolor quinoa, it should be organic. And then fresh cherry. <laughs> you can't miss quinoa because it's such a unique name. Like, there's not that many words that start with a Q, that are that unique, like quinoa, but it equals Christ perfectly. Cool. Grain equals I am God. Cereal is I am, plus it's pretty obvious. Oh yeah, cereal has I am at the dead center. Amazing. <clears throat> oh man. Quinoa cherry. Alright, that's pretty awesome. Glory to God, so this is the first time quinoa cherry was consumed together by mankind um, while knowing the gematria on the words cherry and quinoa for the glory of Christ and the Trinity. So glory to God for this. And uh, there is definitely tons more to come, infinite more to come, contributed by all people in all languages for the great I am. Gematria equals Jesus equals great I am. Spoon, double I am. Bull, double I am. Very awesome. Glory to God.